the night went on, it was progressively more and more worrisome. And of course, when, I mean, when the darkness hit and they're still not found, that was, that was really scary. Just knowing they're out there in the dark. Now at 11, it's a situation no one would ever choose to face. Left with only the clothes on their backs and their Boy Scout training, two young boys do whatever it takes to stay alive while lost in the woods, hoping for someone to find them. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Connor. I'm Erica Fly. Five and seven year old cousins disappeared while camping last week and were found 20 hours later. Now, only on RTV6, their families are sharing what happened and how those boys survived the night without any food or shelter. RTV6's Ebony Monet joins us now with their story. Ebony? Erica Todd, this was a very special trip for this family. It was possibly the last chance for the kids to go camping with their gramps was terminal cancer. So even after this whole ordeal, they stayed and finished the trip feeling very good. Um, it was also called Four Brothers Girls. Together Safe, a simple yet ideal ending to Lisa Ross's long weekend. Really relieved to be home. It's really good to be home. It was the most horrible, those were the most horrible hours of my life when the boys were gone. The family is back home in Bloomington from Red River Gorge, a popular camping and hiking grounds in Kentucky. Thursday evening, three of the Ross brothers are with their grandfather, uncles, and cousin when seven-year-old Adrian and his five-year-old cousin disappear. I was a little worried, um, a little sad that I wasn't at the campsite. The boys go to a hideout in the woods but can't find their way back. Ross is with other family in Ohio when she gets word. They're in the middle of the woods. They can't see. They haven't eaten since the noon the day before. Um, Adrian has like 0% body fat on him and I just thought, oh my gosh, he's got no reserves. <laughs> like, Authorities searched the wilderness using dogs in a helicopter with an infrared camera. Someone not related to the search team speculated that, uh, that the heat signal that the helicopter had seen was a coyote and then, you know, your heart stops. By sunrise, the cousins are still missing. Ross joins hundreds of volunteers in the search, including her husband's colleagues from IU's School of Public and Environmental Affairs. Then by midday, they hear what they prayed for for 20 hours. Search and rescue teams find the seven and five-year-old. Um, I slept on leaves. Um, Michael slept in the dirt, and we both slept by a big pine tree that was hollow. I can't, I can't express how blessed we are. The outpouring of love and support from the community was amazing. The cousins are both Cub Scouts and that's how their moms say they knew not to eat the berries. Ebony Monet, RTV6. Uh, so good to see him back safe and sound. Ebony, thank you. What a great story.